When you guys go to sleep sometimes, do you guys ever have a dream about the perfect film product? Something that'll make your archiving a little bit easier? That's a dream I've definitely had, and I'm happy to share that my friend Chris from Germany has answered all our prayers. <laughs> I wanna introduce you guys to a brand new product that's gonna make archiving your film so much easier. Now, you all have your light sources, you all have your you know preferred scanning methods. So if you're someone that gets a bunch of rolls developed at the lab, or if you're even doing them at home, you know that cutting your negatives is probably the most traumatizing thing that you can do. Now you know where you wanna cut, but when you take those scissors and try to make a cut and your hand shakes just a little bit and you go a little crooked. With that being said, I wanna show you guys this. I'm excited for this so much. This is something that's gonna make cutting your film to archive exponentially easier. So why don't we hop over there, we'll open it up, we'll see what's in the box, we'll run through, we'll see how this works and We'll archive this roll together. All right, guys, let's get into this package. So I just want to say again, a huge thank you to Optic Old School for sending this over for me to check out and review for you guys. And here we go. So here we have the little uh, little postcard for it. So this is the Optic Old School Film Killer. So this is gonna be for cutting up your film, whether it's 35 millimeter or 120, this is gonna make your life so much easier you can't even imagine. Ooh, what's this? We got a little uh, little goodie bag in here. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> he sent over a little keychain of Portra 400. Chris, you know this is my favorite film or what? <laughs> I appreciate that. That's awesome. All right. Let's see. And here is the star of the show. Number Okay, first of all, this packaging is incredible so whoever designed this Chris if this was you killed it and you have all the little, little information on the back so it has um, all the little details feel free to pause it if you guys want to read that but this is just uh, tells you it's, it's a hundred percent non-slip transport we'll get into all that detail um, once we open this up and here we go Probably the most professional film cutter. I love that. I love that. And here we go. We have a nice... Everything is made out of this recycled paper, which I appreciate. It's a little more details about, uh, you know, cleaning the setup. And this is going to be an entire modular system. Looks like we got the uh, little O-rings in here. Ooh got this beautiful microfiber cloth. I love this. Just to lay your film down while you're uh, while you're cutting it up. It's gonna be this is gonna come in handy and we'll we'll use this in a little bit. And I love that. I love the little branding on it. Put that aside. And here is the star of the show. The film killer. Oh, yeah, that's got some nice heft to it. So this is going to be the roller. So we'll set this up here. Okay. So let me walk you guys through how to set this up. So in the box, you're going to get three main things. You're going to get this little pack of O-rings. Let me get some of those out. And it looks like he's got some extra ones in there just in case uh, 
you uh, lose them. And then you're going to get your roller over here. And this is extremely heavy. So yeah, it says it's 175 grams. This is the drive shaft. And this is going to help you advance your film through this machine to cut. And that just kind of drops right in here. And then you have your cutter right over here. And that's going to obviously cut your film. And you have little marks over here. These are guides for 35 millimeter. Or if you're doing um, 120, you got the 645, 6x6, 6x7. And these are just rough guides. Of course, you can uh, cut where you see fit. And this white part is transparent, so I'll show you guys. Right? So you're going to be able to put a light source right underneath it. And while you advance your film, you'll be able to cut exactly where you want. And this is going to help you keep your film straight. As you can see over here, it has a little leader in there for, uh, for 35 millimeter and then a larger opening for 120. So that's going to keep it nice and straight. So let's take a couple of these O-rings. We'll take two of them and we'll set it up for uh, medium format for now. So these are just going to slide like just like this. And we'll roll on the far one first. And we'll do one on. So you're going to have either two on the far right and left for medium format or two in the middle for one uh, for 35 mil. So we're going to have them on the edge. And that's essentially the entire setup process. So you see how easy this is to set up and you can have this right next to your scanning setup. So anytime you need to cut film or do some archiving while you're scanning, you know, you don't have to worry about getting the scissors. This will just sit there and this is going to be extremely seamless to use and integrate into your setups. And I just want to tell you guys about the build quality. This is extremely robust. It's made out of this heavy duty plastic and obviously the moving parts are all metal and you can see the cutter in there is also you're right, you got one blade on the bottom and you got the top blade and those are also metal. So the cool thing about all these parts is that the drive shaft, the silicone O-rings, uh, even the cutter right here is all user replaceable. So if you do need any replacement parts, uh, you're, you'll be able to contact him and he'll be able to get you everything you need. Um, the base is also not glued together, it's actually screwed together. So you're going to be able to open this up if you do need to service this or replace any parts. And that is such a, such a big thing. When Chris built something like this, he definitely wanted to make sure that, you know, you had something that you can integrate into your workflow. If you need to get a service, you can, you can do it yourself. You don't need to rely on somebody else to do that. So why don't I grab some film? We'll set up a little light source and we'll cut and archive some negatives together. So I just finished scanning my film and now it's time for me to archive. These are the sleeves that I use. Uh, they are the print file sleeves. I find these to be the highest quality sleeves to uh, archive your negatives in. Um, so now I have a uncut roll of 120 film right over here that I just finished scanning. And I'm going to walk you guys through on how to use the cutter. So let's start by finding the side that we want to feed in. So I'm going to start with this other side. And once you've ensured that your roller is set up to the film you want to scan, so if it's 120, you're going to be using the outer edges for the, uh, for the silicone O-rings. And if you're doing 35 millimeter, you'll be putting them in the center. So right over here on the edges it has a little slot and your negative will just feed right in there. And it'll go underneath the roller and you'll just crank it through. Make sure you lift up your, uh, your blade over here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim up the leader over here. And once you have that lined up, just give it a little slice. And look at that, you have a perfectly straight cut and you can continue advancing now. So if you're doing a lot of uh, cutting in bulk, uh, for example, if you're doing slides, uh, these markings are going to be very useful to kind of give you a general idea of um, where to stop in order to get like a single frame cut. 
Um, for this case, I'm gonna do three frames as that's what fits my negative sleeves. And once you have that lined up, you just give it a slice. And look at that. We have a perfectly cut frame right there. I don't know if you guys can see, it's probably a little too bright, but we will sleeve this up over here on the side. So one, two, and this will be our third. And once that's lined up, we'll give it a slice. Perfect. And there you go. And you guys can see how clean that cut is. Now it'll probably be easier if you had a bigger light source. My other light source is over there where the scanning setup is. So we're just using this little LED panel for now. So one, two, and three. Perfect. Oh, I'm loving this already. I can already see how this is gonna speed up my, uh, my cutting process. Once I uh, integrate it over there, back beside the scanning setup, this is gonna be extremely, extremely smooth. You know, it's gonna be straight off the, off the scanner and uh, right onto the cutter. And we'll go over here. So just to show you guys again, there is our first frame. There you go, two and three. And there you go. And give her a little slice. Ta-da. So this is, you can probably see better on this one. See how, see how straight that is? There we go. So you guys can probably see that a little better now, but you see how straight that cut is? That's something that's gonna be extremely difficult to do with scissors. <laughs> so this is gonna make, you know, life a million times easier. And we'll just sleeve that up nice and gently. Yes, don't come at me, I do not use gloves, but it is what it is. I enjoy working freehand. And yeah, just like that, we have some sleeve negatives. And look at that, everything's perfectly straight. I am thoroughly impressed by this cutter. And again, if you have a little extra in there, slide it right through. I love it. This, for 120, this is great. For 35, this is a blessing, especially with how small each frame is, you know? Having the ability to just slot it through with this, and it's gonna just keep it straight the entire way. I, I can't tell you how excited I am to be adding this into my arsenal of film scanning tools. I wanna say this again, this is amazing. You guys watched the demo, you saw how easy this was to use. If you're still cutting film with scissors, throw those scissors out the window. This is gonna change your life, I'm telling you. It's such a simple tool, yet we've been missing one of these for so long out of our kits. So I'm very, very grateful to Chris again for sending this over. Um, it's gonna make my life so much easier and I hope by introducing it to you guys, it's gonna make your life easier. So who is this for? Honestly, this is gonna be for anybody that's archiving film. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced, it doesn't matter. This sole purpose of this tool is to make cutting film easier. Whether you're doing medium format or 120, it's a game changer. And to reiterate the ability to, in the future, if you do need to replace any of these parts, whether it's the, uh, whether it's the film advance, the O-rings, the blade on it, um, or any of the other parts, this will just come apart and you can just replace it yourself. So again, it doesn't have any batteries or electronics, uh, so you have nothing to worry about other than having an additional light source. Uh, you can even use like your phone as a little light on the back, so you don't need to go out and purchase anything crazy. Um, it's gonna work with, it's gonna work with anything you already have. If you guys are interested in this, check out Optic Old School. This was the film killer. It's, it's an amazing product. I'm, 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 I'm personally very excited to see what else Chris has in store. If this is where he's starting, who knows what else he's gonna make. 
you guys want to support Chris and Optic Old School, I'll leave all the information in the description. This has been such a great product to launch recently in the film space and you know I love I love everything film. I love new products that are coming out in the film space. These are all stuff that's been long lost, refound, re-engineered, rebuilt. Uh, they've been made more efficient for us to use. They've been more accessible than ever. So I'm, I'm very excited for the future of film. It's looking bright. I'm excited to keep shooting and I hope you are too. I hope this was educational for you. If you guys have any other questions for whether it's for me, Optical Old School Chris, uh, feel free to let us know. Send us a DM on Instagram or drop it in the comment section in this YouTube video and I'll see you guys real soon.